Hello? It's gonna be over quick enough. Nice tie, handsome. It's sick. I love you too, man. I'm not answering, it's a stupid question. Not a lot of guys can out-energy me, but this guy can. Time now for next question with Pierre Maguire. Are you ready for some fun? I love being on this part of the show, Michael. What do you remember most about your days coaching the Baton Rouge Kingfish? Uh, playing against Bruce Boudreaux's team in Mississippi, in Biloxi, Mississippi, and watching a chain gang clean the arena before our practice. Who's a tougher interviewer, Jim Rome or me? <laughs> You. Thank you. Matt Sundin still has it, so does Daniel Alfredson. Explain to us why Nicholas Littstrom has no Swedish accent. Uh, he's unbelievably well-educated, and he really is truly an amazing ambassador for the sport. We have Usain Bolt on the show on Monday, as I told you. How fast could you run the 100 meters in your fastest day? Uh, I don't know. I was never timed in the 100 meters. I was timed in the 40 meters. You were timed in the 40? 40 40-yard dash, I should say. 40-yard dash? What was your fastest time? Uh, I think I ran a 4.65. Oh, four. Four, six, five. Were you a football player? I was. Well, we'll talk more about that in a later show because we always talk football with you as well. Darren Detition did 25 bench presses of 150 pounds. How many could you do? Um, 150, you said? Yeah. Uh, I pr pr probably when I was playing football, I could probably do 20. You know what? You should have said 26. Detition no. did 25. No, Dutchie's better body by chemistry. Just kidding, Dutch. <laughs> Or are you? There was a fan at the game last night wearing a Ron Fanch Francis Whalers jersey. What's the most obscure jersey you've seen during the finals? Uh, a Gilles Malosh Minnesota <laughs> uh, North Star sweater. Underrated goaltender, Gilles Malosh. Mm -hmm. Very underrated and a good friend of mine and a great, great person. Who's underrated so far in the finals? Oh, that's, that's an amazingly tough question. I would say right now, if you're a fan of the Pittsburgh Penguins, Probably Matt Cook, and if you're a fan of the Detroit Red Wings, probably Valtteri Filpula. Give me one word to describe Max Talbot's playoff beard. <laughs> Unbelievable. Who are you taking in the NBA Finals, the Lakers and the Magic? I'm taking the Lakers because Kobe Bryant is the new version of Michael Jordan. Well put. Give me one word to describe the way Tony Granato was treated by Colorado last month. Uh, S blank blank T. Well put. What kind of impact will Joe Newendike have in Dallas? A big impact. Joe Noondike will do a fantastic job. He's an enlightened young guy, very well educated, and he's got a great mind for the game. How will Pat Quinn do with the Oilers? Great, because he's going to delegate a lot to Tom Rennie tactically, and he will be a master motivator. Which city has the least room between the benches? Detroit. Who will go first overall in the draft? John Tavares. Who should go first overall in the draft? John Tavares. Who makes better sandwich, Schwartz's in Montreal or Piermanti Brothers in Pittsburgh? Schwartz is in Montreal. Are you kidding me? I can't say you had anything different. You know what? And I owe you a lot. So next time we're in Montreal together, can I buy you a sandwich? No, you can take me to Moishe's for steak. It's a deal. How often do you shave your head? Uh, once a week. Every five days, actually. The key is catch you on the day afterwards. I'll take you any day. Pierre McGuire, thanks for doing this, man. My pleasure, Michael. Anytime.